Hey you guys, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Physics Sergi, the one stop solution for the students who are looking to take an extra lead in their JE mains and JE advanced physics preparation. Okay, and here we are in JE mains debated question series once again. And uh, in the 2019 April shift uh, paper, there was a problem on a person who is uh, on a swinging uh, pendulum kind of emotion and suddenly he decides to stand up and there is an energy analysis asked in this particular question. We'll try to read through the question and see if there is any ambiguity in the question or in the final key that is given by the JE people. Was it right during that particular year or not? Okay, so here we go. If you want to give it a try, pause the video here. Have a go at the question for one or two minutes and do come back for the solution explanation and you wait till the end of the video. I'll be giving you a similar practice problem al along with some other situations uh, to enrich this particular concept. OK, so here we go. A person of mass capital M is uh, sitting on a swing of length L and swinging with an angular amplitude theta, theta naught. If the person stands up when the swing passes through its lowest point, the work done by him, assuming that his center of mass moves by a distance of small l, which is very small in comparison to the capital L that was mentioned, is close to, okay? And in options, there are small m's everywhere, right? So what we'll try to do here in the question, I think there's a printing error here. There should be a small m here, okay, right? All the small m's should be the same. OK, right. So here also it should be there is no mention of capital M anywhere. OK, so there are certain assumptions that you are supposed to make here. You are supposed to consider this as a simple pendulum and not a physical pendulum, because if it were a physical pendulum, he would have mentioned the moment of inertia and all that. That is not of any use in this. So that's the idea for this question. OK, so I hope you have tried it. Let's move forward. So a lot of things on the board, just follow my lead. It's a very nice concept, also important for your JE advance that gets covered here, okay? So as I wrote in the heading, the problem is multi-conceptual, which is built based on the conservation of angular momentum and application of work energy theorem, okay? So here, if you see on the right side of the screen, there is a diagram in which I try to depict the initial uh, length of the pendulum, capital L, wherein the swing is moving in and out of the board. Okay, just imagine this person is going in and out of the board uh, with the speed at the mean position, that is the maximum speed being V0. And suddenly when he passes through that mean position, he decides to stand up, changing his position of center of mass to capital L minus small l, as mentioned in the question. And I'm assuming that abrupt standing causes the speed for this particular system to change to V. So V0 was the original speed when the length was L. And because of standing up, the length became L minus L and the speed became V. Okay, so that's the idea. So let's come back. And I argue now when he stands up abruptly, uh, during that particular standing process, the torque of all the forces acting on the system will pass through the support. Okay, so the value of the torque would be equal to zero. The forces pass through the support, therefore torque is equal to zero. And during this small period of standing up as torque is zero, angular momentum of the system about the support is conserved. Okay, uh, and what's the value of that angular momentum? If uh, V is into the board, the cross product of these two would produce a MV not L. And immediately after standing up at the same position, remember the position is not changing. We are doing it abruptly. The value of the speed is V and the length has become L minus. So M gets cancelled and you end up getting the new speed at the mean position in this manner. Keep it aside, we'll be using that. Work energy theorem during the abrupt standing. Remember, I'm using work energy theorem again for the same period where this angular momentum conservation was applied. Okay, so work done by man, internal forces of the person. Okay, so which we have done quite a few number of videos by now, work done by the person plus work done by gravity on the system should be changed in kinetic energy. This is nothing but writing W all is equal to delta Ke. You could have brought this work done by gravity onto this side and written work done by person as change in mechanical energy. One of the common misconceptions or silly mistakes that the students does in the exam is to write the work done by man as delta Ke and forget the gravity. So that is very important that you have to borrow. So what you could do is work done by gravity is negative. Therefore, because he stood up, you can bring this W gravity onto the other side and make it a positive MGL. That's what I've written here. And delta Ke is half M 
v square which is the final one minus v naught square what you could do is you can substitute the value of v that in terms of v naught and remove that v naught square out as a common term then you end up getting this kind of an expression i have rearranged this to write a negative power All right and this one since small l is very small compared to capital l as given in the question i'll try to use the binomial expansion approximation okay so i'll take only first two terms of this binomial approximation that's why this approximate symbol was written and this number becomes 1 plus 2l by l and this minus 1 cancels this one and makes this a very simple product which i'll go slightly ahead now yeah i hope you can see this now so this expression the blue one boils down to this so this is the final answer but the problem is the answer was not given in terms of v not it is given in terms of theta not which is the initial angular amplitude so on the sidelines we'll make a calculation the value of the uh, maximum speed at the mean position initially should be l times of the maximum angular velocity i have written capital omega as a symbol for angular velocity not to be confused with the angular frequency omega angular velocity is different angular frequency is different the value of the angular velocity is nothing but angular amplitude into the angular frequency okay so since omega is root g by l that i have substituted here and then took the capital l inside so this is the expression for the mean uh, position maximum speed Uh, initially when he was actually sitting down so this expression square of it if i substitute here i end up getting this entire requirement okay so if you go back and check whether the option is given there or not i think you can see this is the option b which is indeed the final key some of the students uh, were actually not able to get to this answer because they were not first of all considering the torque uh, principle or angular momentum conservation principle and also making a mistake of Uh, not figuring out the work done by gravity to be taken on this side it's not the change in ke it's the change in mechanical energy that you are supposed to take and also you should be very clear cut in your approximation here how to use it so that you can get to the final answer so this is what not a very straight forward question wherein you could see the more than two concepts and manipulations are required to approach the final answer okay so i hope you have liked this particular question here we go with the practice question equally difficult intriguing slightly multi conceptual this is a question from the 2015 offline paper some of you might have seen this one this one is a famous one in case you haven't please do try it and comment your answer below in case you can't get it i'll definitely answer it in the series as the next video okay so, so you can read it on your own and try it out okay and um please do check out another controversial video i've already posted in the channel uh, recently uh, it's uh, again on the simple pendulum where you change the frame of reference to watch it so it's you can highlight it as shm with respect to shm so what is the controversy what's the ambiguity in the question and did the nta or the je mains people change the final key or not it's up to you to actually check it out okay so link of this particular video is also in the description some of the students actually struggle with the work done by internal forces of a man i have done a video on work done by internal forces trying to exploit the problem solving situation of that and please make sure you go through that in case you have not done it it was in the physics surgery quickies series and the link of the same is in the description below okay and in case you have watched all of them please make sure you go through the je mains debated series uh, questions and also the rest of the parallel series that you can see on the board all these series are very very important for your je mains and advance and in case you are in general physics lover i would request you to directly go to the resolve series where i actually resolve the doubts that are usually asked by toppers and not addressed in the textbooks it will be a very intriguing one if you are just here for the love of physics at a school and high school level okay so links of all these playlists are in the description below i hope you enjoy them and in case you like the content provided in the channel please do like this particular video share it amongst your friends try to bring more and more people to the channel so that we can build a healthy family wherein we have lots of discussions about the problem solving techniques and the general physics Uh, of the je level okay so please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for staying this long and see you in the next video